What's going on everybody, this is Royce back with the third video of Revit Architectural Essential Training. So in this video, I'm going to discuss selection in Revit. So selection is a primary key skill of any graphical program that you have to master. For the very simple way to select any object, all you have to do is just go to the object and click on it. As you can see that now we are in the modify panel and this wall has been selected. I'm going to deselect that by clicking on an empty space which will deselect that wall and down here if you look at it it says click to select, tab for alternates, control to add and shift to unselect. So let's say I want to select these two walls and I'm going to select this wall first and to add that wall to the previous selection what if I click just now and as you can see that it deselected the previous wall. So in Revit, every time you click, you create a new selection set. So now let's have a look how can we add to our selection set. So I'm going to click on this wall now and I'm going to hold down my control key. As you can see that the plus sign appears next to the cursor, which means that if I click on the next wall, it will add to that previous selection set. So I'm just going to keep selecting and let's say I selected the wrong object and you want to minus that from the selection so you need to hold down your shift key and now as you can see that the minus sign appears next to the cursor which means if you click on this line it will deselect from the selection set so I can just deselect whatever I want alright if I click on empty space that will deselect all you can deselect by pressing escape key twice and you can click on the empty space or you can right click and click on cancel to cancel the command but it will not exit the command so there's a difference between exiting the command and cancelling the command all right let's have a look at the properties panel for a bit let's say i'll select this wall and i hold on my control key to select these couple more walls and on the properties panel you can see that the quantity of the object selected so it says four wall select so now you can see that anything you've been selected and you got a big project and you don't know whatever is selected so you can look at it to the properties panel to find out how many objects and what kind of objects you were selected i encourage you to always pay attention to that quantity before you move on to the next step to make sure that the quantity matches to your expectation now let's have a look how can we deselect our objects there are a few ways that you can do that. I'm going to go and add a few of the objects and I'm going to hold down my shift key to get rid of this wall. And now, well, the first and easiest way to deselect is by clicking on an empty space. It will deselect everything, whatever was selected. The second way to deselect is to click on this modify button, which will deselect whatever is selected. Okay, so now let's talk about the tab key. If you take your cursor and move that to the wall, you can see that it highlights that wall. If I move my cursor away, it will de-highlight that wall. So that's basically telling you that what will be selected if I click the mouse. If I take my cursor to this wall, it will highlight that. So that means now it's telling me that if I click here, that wall will be selected. All right, so now if I take my cursor closer to this window, but as you can see that I'm not right on the window, I'm actually on the wall. But let's say you want to select that wall, but your project is pretty big and you want to select the next object. So you can use your tab key. If I press my tab key, it will go back to wall. So now I keep pressing tab key, it's going to keep giving me the next object, which is chained to that object. So the tab key is very useful when you have a bigger project and it's very complicated to select a specific object so you can tab key to have a look at what are the objects closer to this object so let's say i want to select this wall but i don't want to go all the way there so i'll just highlight my window and i'll press tab and then tab and then tab so it go back to window so now i'll tab 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 and i click so now that wall is been selected so now let's have a look at the other method of selection with the window selection basically if i just click and i drag so I get the crossing window selection and if I take it to right, it will change that to solid window selection. So there's two different kinds of um, selection that you can do with the, it's all depending on where you move your cursor. So let's say if I just drag my um, window to the right and I just click 
and what it does is basically it will select only the completed object comes in the window well if I just select from this side which is a dotted window so it's gonna select whatever comes in the window it will select everything whatever comes in so that's the two different type of windows you need to master so let's say if I want to just select this door I want to use that the window selection so if I just take my window and drag it to the right that will select only the door because door is the only object comes into the window completely so if I take my window selection to the left I will select the wall and a door as well because anything touches that window will be selected window a little bit further to that wall so as you can see that wall has been selected as well so that's two different kinds of selection with window all right so now we're going to look at the filter method which is the most powerful selection method of all so let's say i will select this whole lot of the drawing and once i leave my mouse i'll see that a filter command in a modify panel so now if i click on it i get this dialog box with the information whatever is selected so now it's basically telling me that i've got one door selected two walls selected and two windows selected so if I want to take out windows from selection so I can uncheck and apply and if I want to um, take out my door from selection so I can click on door and apply that will take out the door from selection this is the most powerful way you can select the object when you have a very big project going on. Alright guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the full course. I will be uploading every second day a new video of a course. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.